everyone. Hello back of me. Welcome to the making of, hectic making should I add, of uh, the Romano sisters. Uh, mostly old Ventagianas because I can't find the picture where they're all four wearing it. Their walking suit that they wore in 1909 in England or wherever. This is the picture. Uh, let's get on to it. It. So I bought this. Um, it's already been cut because I couldn't. Those were my knees. It's already been cut because I couldn't be bothered to um, film earlier because I'm a, on like a lot of deadlines. It's this beautiful, gorgeous wool broadcloth blend. Um, it's mostly wool. I've done a burn test, so I'm pretty happy with the fiber content, and it's so nice and it feels amazing. So the skirt, I'm gonna do just a plain pleated skirt. I know theirs isn't exactly plain pleated. It might be but I'm just doing it because I like the look of it and I need to draft a double-breasted jacket because basically what happened is um, I drafted a single-breasted jacket because I remembered drawing this two years ago and I remembered, oh, when I was like, you know, younger, I didn't know that much about clothing and I wasn't very experienced with sewing. I had barely sewed a pair of combinations. So I thought, oh, I thought it was single-breasted because I also had this picture of them wearing a similar suit. So I was like, oh, single-breasted. So I drafted this whole entire single-breasted coat, uh, jacket, whatever. It took me like three hours or something, probably two and a half. And then I looked at my drawing and I looked at the pictures and I realized it was double-breasted. So I still haven't drafted the coat, but I am planning to get the skirt sewn this evening. So come along with me in this hectic marathon journey of sewing. Hi everyone, so this is present me um, filming this mini kind of intro bit because I realized that this needed said and filmed. So um, I don't know where to start. Um, I just wanted to disclaim this because I didn't want anyone to feel hurt or offended by this video. So I am really into the Romanov's history. I find it really fascinating and it's been an ongoing passion in my life for years, which funnily enough, as spoiler alert, you will see on my channel soon. Um, it inspired me, their history and their wardrobe <laughs> inspired me to start sewing. Um, so I, they're my style icons, the Romanoff sisters. I fully admit that all my friends know it, all my family know it. They are my style icons because, oh my God, just look up any pictures of them and tell me if I'm wrong. I of course recognize that this is not a good time to post out a Russian related video, especially a video relating to an imperial family of Russia. And so I wanted everyone to know that I I don't support the czarist system politically or any form of imperialism and I think that what is happening in Ukraine right now is gut-wrenching and heart-wrenching. Uh, my heart and my prayers truly go out to all the people involved and I am hoping that this horrible conflict and waste of lives can be solved as soon as possible and can end well for everyone who's suffering so absolutely i just think that the romanovs and particularly the romanov siblings had a very fascinating history and um i really like their dresses so this is just supposed to be a fun light-hearted video on something that i love and a passion that i have and i want to share with you all um especially since it's been such a huge part of my life since i was a younger girl and it's really not gonna lie it's really shaped me into who i am today so it's been a positive aspect of my life and i just want to share it but i really wanted to put this out there i don't like imperialism i don't like dictatures i don't like totalitarian regime regimes and i don't like what's going on in ukraine right now i hate it um so yeah now that this has been disclaimed, the floodgates have opened on my channel for, I call it plagiarizing their outfits because I, I'm very guilty because 
Just look up pictures of their outfit. You won't blame me, honestly. You will not blame me. So yeah, on to the video. Oh, and by the way, this video was filmed like ages ago, so that's why I'm dressed like it's summer because where I live in September, it's like July, especially this year. Anyway, bye. So I already cut this. So here are the measurements in case you want to follow along and have measurements similar to mine. Let me turn on the lights. It's this beautiful wine red um, fabric, but can't really see it with this lighting. Uh, much better, you can see it much better now. So the waist is 30 inches. Um, for me at least, I drafted a 30 inch waistband uh, around three inches wide to then fold doubly. And um, I pleated the waistband, so I, uh, the, I'm sorry, I pleated the skirt. So what I did is instead of, I cut 30, thir I cut double my waist measurement that I knew I was gonna have. So I cut 60 inches of this all across and then I box pleated it and now I'm about to iron it. I cut the hem a bit longer because, I don't know, I may want the skirt to be a bit longer than all my other skirts because this is an autumn winter skirt fit for an autumn winter changeable capsule wardrobe. So I'm going to iron all these pleats, all these box pleats. I tried this on, it fits me and it stabbed me and since I have no one right now to help me take it off, I stabbed myself quite a bit, but uh, here we are. So I am going to iron these pleats down and you will see that maddening process happen right before your very eyes. Hello everyone, so it's a couple days later I had to stop because I had to reorganize my sewing room which was a mess and I just had so many things to do but I'm back now. Um, that skirt was too tight so what I'm going to do right now is um, I am on my couch watching TV. I'm going to unpick uh, this part of the waistband, only I think the back pleat because the back pleats on both sides are pretty deep like this. like there are a couple and so I think I can just unpick this part and it would be fit because it's just tight enough to be uncomfortable well not really uncomfortable to be bad looking you know so I feel like if I loosen it it's going to be better I'm sorry for not filming this as much but um I don't know if it's not a video of its own I'll put it with other stuff this is just very hectic and it does not take me very long to make one of these um, so yeah, uh, I'll do that and I'll update you. Right, hello friends. I don't know what clip you last saw, but this is what we're work working with. So the sack, uh, double-breasted uh the ladies double-breasted sack ulster took me no time to draft last night um ignore this to save paper i'm just gonna remember that ne this needs to flare out like that like so uh and i'll probably write it down this took me no time at all because i just took my basic measurements and i just drafted it because it's 
three straight lines. <laughs> That's it. And then the sleeve I drafted this afternoon and looks like the, it should fit. It looks like it should fit. Uh, I'm gonna cut this all out of this brand new calico that I got online and hopefully if the calico mock-up is all right, then that is going to be uh, my lining. At least for the sleeves, I'm going to see about the rest of the coat, but I just wanted some lining for, you know, just a bit more insulation, a bit more warmth, so let's start. Well friends, here's the mock-up. You can't see my face, but that doesn't count. What you need to see is this, and it is fitting great. So, um, it's a bit loose at the back, but I think I won't meddle with this because it is going to be very thick wool. I'm gonna line it in this, and then I'm probably gonna have, you know, a sweater or something underneath if not just a blouse uh, or like a blouse with a slip dress underneath. I mean, you get the idea. I love, love, love what is going on with this. The sleeve needed shortened. Um, I'm just going to mark that on the paper pattern pieces and cut that off. So I'm going to cut these pieces and go to bed because it's getting late and I am tired. <laughs> Hel hello everyone. So um, this is what where we're at so far. So. All the pieces have been cut. All the lining pieces are here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to proceed to stitch them together um, and rethread the sewing machine because this needs rethreaded. All right, friends, I should, I think I should probably address, rude. I think I should probably address the elephant in the room. Yes, I have been wearing the past few clips. I have been wearing my Elizabeth Bennett brown round gown and now I have added a kerchief for modesty and also because um, my window's open. Did someone say sheesh? And honked. Perfect. Um, you know what? I think this needs to be closed because it wasn't that noisy. Um, yeah, I'm wearing this with a kerchief because uh, modesty and this room be drafty when the window is open. So I'm just going to do a little fit check for you guys. Fit check. Love this dress's house dress because it's enormous and, you know, the back is giant. So I can just, not that I would need to do that at home. But anyway, so what I did here is I pressed, come here though. I pressed everything I needed to press to give it a clean smoosh. Collar is nice and pressed. Seams are nice and pressed and don't need finished. They do need trimmed uh, some places. I don't, some stuff needs trimmed, but, and I also did that to the sleeves, which are right, Mary here. And what I will do now is I will do the dreaded thing that every costumer dreads the sleeves. Wish me luck. Well, uh, this is um, lucky, to say the least. My sewing machine needle broke. Yay. It was my last needle. It is now 9.30 p.m. 
cannot go out to buy another one. It shall have to wait until tomorrow. Why? Why are you the way that you are? Why do you break so much? Okay, I think I'm gonna leave the arms eyes alone. Um, because these I really want to do by machine because the pleats and everything, I don't want the hands to just to be torn apart because this is very thick fabric, so I can't do tiny stitches. And this is gonna be a daily wear garment, not, you know, a costume, so the arms eyes need to be done well. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to see what finishings I can do by hand, if any, because this coat has got a lot of visible machine um, stitching on it, so I will look. can't really see this is what you need to see this part is what you need to see we've just averted a crisis because I put this on and I realized that the shoulders were way too low my shoulder seam needed to be here and the shoulders needing to be here and they were tight and uncomfortable and this thing was also happening which I didn't like and so I was I'm not a potty mouth but I was cursing uh, oh this color looks great on me um and then I did this one thing. I don't know if any other sewist has ever, you know, had a kind of eureka moment like this one where you just judge something and it solves all your problems. I did. See this thing? The collar? I just did. And I put it in here. And all my problems instantly got solved. And I started thanking every single saint in heaven because I was like, yes. Yes, this is how it's supposed to work. So I, uh, I'm just gonna, excuse me. Excuse me, I'm just gonna like, pin it without maybe stabbing myself in the neck. That would be, that would be nice. And I'll come back. Nope. You know, because at this point I was like, I was prepared, you know, to do anything because I was like, this is not a costume. This is like a wearable. I I need this to be a wearable everyday garment, you know, that I need to wear and walk around in public in. So I I, I was like, okay, oh no, this is not. I'll, I'll, I'll clean it up. Um, and I was like, okay, sewing gods, what? What do you need me to do for this to be a wearable, everyday garment? I will do anything. And they were like, put weird little pin darts in the shoulders and I was like, sure. What's happening? No, 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 no. Okay, I'll just do it on one and I'll take it off, but I'll do a couple more fit checks, but this should work, um, the sleeves are fine, they should be, and for the, these leaves, because I don't have, <laughs> I don't have a lining, what I'm going to do is, on the very bottom of the sleeve here, I'm going to like, do like two pleats like this, which makes it more closed, you know, so you can't really see the crappy lining. Well, it does have a lining, sorry, but it's crappy, so. This is what I'm gonna do, I'll update you when I've done all that I need to do. Friends, it looks like I am making it out of sleeve hell. Um, I think two days passed from the last clip. Um, I need to give a special shout out and a special thank you to my mother who has helped me through this and seen me through mental breakdowns about these sleeves because at one point I thought I would have to recut the sleeves but then I didn't have enough fabric to um, recut the sleeves. So from now on, I will take from this coat the measurement because the whole problem was where this seam was. And now it's at a correct point in both sleeves. So when this coat is done, I am going to take measurement from the shoulder seam to here and apply that to my next Thornton's coats because I will make a bunch of these. Now this coat is very loose on me, so are the sleeves, but that's the whole point. It's supposed to be very loose, easy peasy relaxed style. Now what I'm planning to do for the sleeves is shorten them a bit. Yes, I'm in my Marianne Dashwood replica nightgown. And I'm going to fold them in like this so you don't see the lining. 
And for the skirt, I need more of a placket. Um, and I think maybe possibly a hook and eye. So I'm going to go in, stitch even more of a placket. I think I'm going to have the placket extend farther than the button here. And um, I'm going to have a hook and eye probably around here. So I'm going to do most of that tonight. I'm going to get the sleeves done with tonight and I'm also going to get this um, wonky bit over here. There was a wonky bit. Uh, this whole uh, hem bit I had to uh, rip apart because it was um, that this, the wool was bunching up here like this and it was really ugly. So um, I'll fix that tonight, but I am so relieved we're, all, we're out of sleeve hell. Well, never be too careful. Okay, let's, uh, let's get on with this. Friends, it is pretty dark. I will remedy that right now. But the suit is done. As you can see, I have it on. I'm going to zhuzh my hair for a second and do some makeup so that I can show you this suit uh, in a mini reveal at the end of this video. So uh, before I leave you, a mini disclaimer, this suit is not at all styled historically accurately in hair and accessory shenanigans, just how I would style it in a more kind of history bounding rules, not guidelines type of <laughs> type of um, situation. So thank you so much for watching this video. And by the way, I, yes, I also made this blouse. I don't know if you saw a video about it already or I will post it, but I have made this blouse and the process has been filmed. So if you want to see that, just drop me a comment down below and I will be very happy to post that video. Um, thank you so much for coming along uh, to this shenanigan and I hope to see you again very soon in my next shenanigan. Bye!